In this video, we'll be taking a look at a few channel analyses to get you prepared for the week ahead. If you love the content, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in learning to refer to professional, check out our complete forex trading course on Udemy. I have the link attached in the description below. We already have over, you know, 4,000 enrolled students right now, and the course has been so helpful to them. So if you're interested in learning to refer to professional, check out our complete forex trading course on Udemy with the link in the description below. So on my chart here, this is a go chart on the one hour time frame. So on my screen, we have the go chart on the one hour time frame. Last week, we talked about the possibility of price heading higher after a brief consolidation. And I think that's what happened over here, right? So price was around its, uh, around its levels last week. And I talked about the possibility of a mild reversal to the downside, followed by a consolidation and a bullish move to the upside. So if you paid attention to the analysis, I'm sure you must have been able to pick out an entry for you to grab this move to the upside, which is approximately, let's see, from here over to this price level is 430 pips. This entry from gold last week, if you got that. So this week, um, I don't see any reason why you want to go long right now at this current price levels or even go short. So I think this week is going to be more about being patient to see what the market does in order for us to spot a good trade opportunity for maybe the upper week or this week depending on how fast the market moves right so something very important i'm paying attention to is some sort of a channel that's being formed right now on a go chart so this is a one hour time frame remember and if you take these highs like this you would notice we are uh, we are you know trading within the channel so i think there's a good chance we come all the way to these price levels and then reverse to the downside, come back to the lower bounds of the channel before eventually maybe, um, look, you know, um, creating some sort of price action to send us higher. So this is what I'm watching out for on crude oil, uh, sorry, on good, excuse me, on good this week. All on this, I'm just going to watch the market, see what it does and look for an opportunity to go long when the market reverses or if the market reverses, right? So my levels will be adjusting my area of value so i'll move this over to this price level because this is going to be the new area of support in my opinion right which also coincides with what we have on the trend line or on the channel so if this happens let's say we go as high as you know this price levels to the upper bounds of the channel we may then see a reversal but this reversal if this happens i'm not going to go short because you don't know what's going to happen price may reverse a little consolidate and just keep going higher right so that's the reason why you do not want to just jump to a short position because you feel there's a good chance price is going to go lower so it's best to wait for solid price levels before you you know take advantage of whatever the market uh, puts in front of you so in this case taking advantage of the price action will be watching out to see how the market reacts at these price levels see if we do get a reverse of the downside and if we get a reverse of the downside excuse me I'm going to get rid of this really quick and if we do get a price move to the upside for example and it follows through to the downside with the reversal then around this area of value will be where you want to look for good opportunity opportunities for a long position because that will give you a tighter or a better risk to the world ratio because you are you then have to put your stop loss underneath this area of support so that'll give you a very tight stop loss with enough room to the upside for price to move meanwhile uh uh, the price is currently close to the overbought level which means there's a good chance price is likely going to cool down a little which is why i'm looking at this upper bound of the channel for a possible bearish reversal so that's another reason why you don't want to jump into a trade right now right because if you jump to a buy trade without paying attention to this channel you could easily get a reversal when price gets to this price levels pushing price downwards before we go higher right so right now in essence in summary for gold i wouldn't be going long right now and i won't be going short either i'm only going to wait to see what price does if or when we get into these price levels and possibly wait for a reversal to the downside and if this happens then i'm going to look for battery opportunities over here and meanwhile this price moment the downside could be overextended what i mean by that is we may trade slightly below this area of uh, this lower bounds of the channel, right? So even if it seems like we are breaking the channel, remember that we have a support level over here that could, you know, provide us with a good bounce to the upside. So just because the price tends to be overextended and we trade below the lower bounds of this uh, channel doesn't mean we're going to go lower, right? Doesn't mean we're going to come to these price levels. It only means you have to be careful 
watch out to see what price does around this area of support it's probably going to be a new support and see if we don't get a bounce or a reversal of the upside before you go long and to go short we'll be waiting to see if you get a consolidation on these price levels followed by an immediate breakout and downside so this would be a better confirmation to go short if the market plays out like this but if uh you know things turns out not to be like this i'm going to review the market and we're going to share more charts and more insights next week because i do think this week is going to be kind of like a slow market for gold except maybe if we do get a mad consolidation over here and then a further explosive movement to the upside which will be very difficult to trade because then there's no you know clear area to set your stop losses when you jump into trades like this around these price levels right so it's just going to be risky trade and if you have good risk management to take advantage of that price action but i'm more concerned i'm more inclined to watch now to see what price does when we get to this higher bounce of the channel that's it briefly for good moving on talking about nasdaq so nasdaq real quick we talked about possibility of price breaking out from this trend line and also taking out this area of resistance and that's exactly what happened after the united states you know cut interest rates by 50 basis points so right now we're trading or we're consolidating above this area of value which was a resistance level now possibly turned support and this new area of resistance so next week i'm going to watch out for price to consolidate a little more and give us a good breakout so if price breaks out from this area of resistance entry is going to be at a breakout consolidation is going to be below sorry stop loss is going to be the consolidation at least the breakout first take profit target is going to be here and if we do go higher i'm going to hold the rest of my positions as we go higher right just for transparency sake i'm already on this trade right i got in on the breakout and i'm holding my position to see what happens so i strongly believe we're going to take out this area of resistance this coming week so next week we're going to take out this area of resistance which will present us with good opportunities for bullish price movement or uh, good opportunities to go long right so for those who aren't in yet i would suggest you wait for a good consolidation or more consolidation or more price movements between these price levels and then watch out for that massive breakout to the upside so if that happens your ent your entry is going to be immediately after the breakout stop is going to be underneath the consolidation at least of the breakout and first take profit target here second take profit, uh, take profit target you can trail as the price movement move, uh, evolves right as the price action evolves so that's it briefly for nasdaq nothing much to see or talk about other than waiting for a good consolidation and a good move to the upside why for short trade opportunity i wouldn't be going short right now except we do get something drastic happen in the market and even if something drastic happen in the market it's not going to be an opportunity for you to go short because it's probably going to look like this so probably price is going to move downwards come up and continue going up but i do think nasdaq is going to be bullish henceforth because of the rate cuts but we're going to see what the market does and this is my outlook for the week being bullish on nasdaq and that's what i'll be watching out for to go short and my price targets moving on we're talking about crude oil real quick so crude oil on the daily charts and we talked about the possibility of price bouncing off of these lows so last week we talked about the possibility of price bouncing off of these lows and getting into this area of value seems that has happened play that nicely daily time frame so i'm still going to watch out to see what price does when we get into this other area of value over here so are we going to get a reversal to the downside in continuation of the bearish move or are we going to you know break through turn it into a support level and then move higher so this is what i'm watching out for this week on crude oil yeah, not necessarily going to be taking any trade but it's just more of an observation so for those you know who intend to go long or go short these are just the price levels to pay attention to when executing your trades so going at a lower time frame so let's see four hours time frame for example you can clearly see we are you know slowly moving into this area of value so this is what i was talking about so i'm going to see what price does when we come here are we going to reverse to the downside where we're going to look for putting to go shorts or we are going to break through use it as a retest uh, as a support level then move higher so these are my two possible case scenario on whichever whatever happens this week i'm going to share my thought now at discord community so if you're not part of our discord yet use the link in the description below to join our discord community it's totally free and i get to share my insights if the market changes or when the market changes right so i'm um, either bullish or bearish right now until i see the reac reaction of price at this area of value then i'm going to decide where i'm going to head to but i think it's more possible that we are going to go lower meaning price is going to come into these price levels 
used as a uh, as a resistance level then come to the downside so if this happens then i'm going to look for short trade opportunity and i'm going to share those insights or those trade opportunities with you in our discord or possibly next weekend when we get on chat again moving on we're talking about um us 500 so the x and p 500 similar to what we have on nasdaq similar to what we, we talked about last week we did get a good breakout from this area of value still trading around the area of value right so if you're not in yet if you're good, trading with good risk management i think this price level is a decent price levels to get in and your stop loss is going to be below this area of value and below this trend line so let's say for example you go in here just take a major price move to these price levels and set your stop loss underneath the trend line meaning price is going to have to break through this area of value which is our main resistance level and also take out this trend line for it to hit your stop loss so that would be a safe or a safest bet while you trail the rest of your positions to go higher because there's just nothing to major take profit right now because we're in price discoveries right so this is how i'm going to trade us 500 but unfortunately for me i wouldn't be getting on this trade because i'm already on a trade on nasdaq right so the only reason or the only case where i'm going to go long for us 500 on us 500 is going out to the one hour time frame if we do get you know more consolidation which i think we're going to get and then a bullish breakout as some sort of confirmation of the continuation of the bullish move then this is going to be my confirmation to go long and my stop loss is going to be just beneath these lows and i'm going to trade the rest of my positions to go higher so the reason why i'm being very careful with us 500 is because the pips are so fucking wide excuse me my, my, my language the pips are so wide so you can see the major price movement in terms of stop loss from this entry if this happens so my potential stop loss will be around 600 to 700 pips that's a lot so you have to employ good risk management for you to trade us 500 so that's the reason why i'm being skeptical to go long right now because i'm already on a trade on nasdaq i don't want to over you know uh, i don't want to take too much risk on the trades because i already have a position on nasdaq and they are likely going to go in the same direction so if i go long right now and it tends uh, turns out to go bearish then i'm going to lose here and i'm also going to lose on nasdaq so i'm going to play this smart until i get more confirmation which would be you know waiting for more consolidation followed by a bullish breakout until i get this i wouldn't be adding more positions to what i already have on nasdaq but if you're not in any any of those trades yet this price level is pretty a decent price levels to get in because we are currently trading around the breakout price levels on us 500 so that's a brief for us 500 lastly we're talking about gbp usd so last week we talked about possibility of a consolidation over here and a bullish breakout so the upside so the breakout looked a bit messy but i got in with good stop loss and currently trading above my entry and my stop loss sorry my take profit target is around 400 pips from my entry so i'm going to go down to the daily time frame to show you where my stop loss currently set yeah so stop loss currently set around its price levels and if you take a measured price movement from current price that would be mm, 800 pips but okay this is a daily chart excuse me my take profit target is around this price levels yeah so this is the first lower high before the other ones so my take profit target is around here my entry is around the breakouts which will be around yeah like i said 400 pips so this is my take first take profit target when i'm possibly going to you know hold rest my positions as we go higher if we go above this price levels right but meanwhile back to the four hours chart i don't know depending on your risk management now may not necessarily be a good time to go long but if you're going to go long i will simply wait for a pullback maybe a sharp pullback to the downside followed by a move to the upside then i'm going to try and get an entry when we go lower stop loss is going to be around this price levels and take profit i get like i said it's going to be around this highs and if you take a measured price movement from here if we do get a pullback this will be a hundred pip potential stop loss while your take profit is going to be around 400 pips so one to four ratio so it's going to be a decent trade if you do get the opportunity to go long because i wouldn't advise or recommend going long around these current price levels because that's just far away from area of possible stop loss and if you take that measured price movement, this is going to be 
180 pips approximately and your take profit target is going to be around 300 pips so if this is good enough for you uh, that's one uh, the ratio two i think then you can you know go into the trade uh, with very low risk and see what happens but if you're not in this trade yet i would recommend waiting for some sort of pullback then looking for your entry before you go higher right so that's it briefly for this week's analysis let me just quickly take a look at aero usd so aero usd charts real quick similar to what we have on gbusd and this seems like a bullish setup to me if you take a look at this price level so this is a good area of resistance and if you take this trend line you notice we did you know get uh, a bullish breakout from this area of value right so this is something to pay attention to the trend is bullish as well you can see higher highs and higher lows all the way from these lows higher highs higher lows and we are currently trading around this area of resistance so this is a pretty decent opportunity for a bullish case scenario so to go long if you're not in this trade if you're not long you could go long when market opens stop loss will be around these price levels take profit targets would be around these highs so first take profit target will be around these highs and if you go backwards let's see then another take profit target could be around these highs so this is how i'm going to trade aero usd for those who aren't in yet so you could go long right now stop loss is going to be around these lows first take profit target around these lows the next one around these highs so around these highs excuse me and the next one around these highs right so taking a measured price movement from here to these lows will be 100 pips first take profit target 120 pips so one for one ratio and the main target to be 300 pips so decent opportunity in my opinion if you've got the risk management to get in this trade so that's it for this week's analysis guys if you love the content please like subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below if you're interested in learning trades first like a professional which i highly recommend check out our complete forest trading course on udemy i have the link attached in the description below as well and lastly if you're not part of our discord community right now it's totally free use the link in the description below to join so you get to communicate with other professional traders within our community that's it from me guys see you next week